Let's go ahead and get started here. Let's do our, our minutes. Our minutes and minutes, right? Warm up, jumping jacks, shuffling, dancing, whatever you like, air jump rope. Chuck, can I give you a jump rope? I should I give you some jump rope. Kitties. What's that? How are the kitties? The kitties are good. You know, Ziggy's doing her thing between Ziggy and Z, and I'll be the two that survive this. Let's do big trunk rotations. Yeah, they're good. Uh, Bobo's is shedding like none other. I think I, I think Mars gonna order a cat brush, which I've never thought about really brushing the cat, but maybe it'll help. They're good. Ziggy ate a rat, I think, two days ago. I went to the back workbench and I saw this thing moving. It looked like a worm or like a snake. Not to gross you guys out, but it was the end of the rat tail. <laughs> I think Ziggy was chomping on our bones because Kevin's like, I get this crunching in the back. I'm like, oh, that's Ziggy. He, he, eating, her, eating her breakfast. All right, into our arm circles. Adam, Nina, I have two cats, and Chuck, Chuck helps watch them for me. One's like total outdoor hunts snakes, birds, rats, mice, and Ziggy. And then Bobo's the indoor cat that uh, is lovey and just chases like roly polies. Butterflies, right, Chuck? Uh, I like them both. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards. They're pretty funny. I think, I think Bobo's needs therapy between the two kids. I mean, Camden's a terror with like a foam sword chases her down and Sadie just wants to like lay on her. <laughs> Good in those windmills across the body. Chuck restaurants are open tomorrow outdoor, outdoor seating. You go get your pulled pork sandwich. They don't have any tables outdoors. 
some places do. Miracle Mile Cafe does. Uh, Pizza Lina does. M and H does. M and H does. Uh, Whipper Snapper has an outdoor area in the back in Santa Fe. Two. And why? Good last one. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Let's do that downward dog. Do that spring stretch. So this is it. You're on the knees. You're going to hold that downward dog position for a few. And you're going to bring that right foot forward. That spring stretch for a few seconds. So we go back to that downward dog. And then that left foot, left foot forward into that spring stretch. Here you keep this same pattern going. Let's go about 30, 40 more seconds. So downward dog, spring stretch. Downward dog and that spinner stretch, just alternating. Take your time. Last 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, that's a good warm up. So, first thing I wanna start with is some traveling lunge twists. You're gonna grab a mid ball, a small weight, whatever you wanna use, something between that, I don't know, eight to 20 pounds, it could be anything. We're gonna say dumbbell, kettlebell, med ball. Just like a sound, we're gonna do that traveling lunge with that rotation, okay? You guys can go ahead and start whenever you're ready here. We're going to have two minutes. If you don't have that much room, that's okay. Then just do a front lunge with a twist. Like I said, whatever side, whatever legs forward is the side you're going to rotate to. Gots has tons of outdoor seating, Chuck. Farm burger, what else? Nice, good. One minute down, one minute to go. And we'll do some nice little floor work. And last 30 seconds here. And last 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go into a straight arm plank position. This can be done on your knees if you need to. We're gonna go ahead and kind of walk out a little bit, maybe anywhere between six and 12 inches, and you're gonna walk it back to your armpit. So I'm in that plank position. I'm gonna walk my hands out in front of me, I don't know, for a foot or so. I'm gonna walk them back to my armpits, and we walk back out. Walk it back. Once again, if you need to drop to your knees and do this, that's okay. Just stay nice and flat. You guys can start whenever you're ready. So either on your knees or that full plank position. Kind of like using the ab wheel on this one, right? So as we walk those hands out, you're going to feel more use of that core. So kind of find that distance that works for you. And we're going to go a good solid minute on this.
practice. Keep going in. Last 10 seconds is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, we're going to stand up. If you have a dynamic stabilizer, I want you to put that on just above your knees. Show off one of your favorites. We're going to do those jumping jack squats, okay? We're going a good solid minute on those jumping jack squats. If you have that band, I want you to go ahead and put it on right above the knees. Here we go. In three, two, one. Begin the jumping jack to squat. All right, we're going to keep this going here. Nice, good. And last 10 seconds, almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're going to go into a single leg plank. Uh, you can go to your elbows or straight arms. Either way is fine with me. We're just going to slightly bring that right leg off the ground. We're going to hold that for 30, and then we're going to switch. Okay, so I want you to just do the best you can. You got to come down and run for a while. That's okay. So on your forearms or straight arms. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Katie, we're doing a single leg plank. Okay, cool, thanks. Yep, no worries. Let's go 15 more seconds here, and then we're gonna switch legs. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds. There's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch legs. Let's go another 30 seconds on that single leg plank. Then I'll have you stand up here. Last 10 again. There's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So take your time, stand up. We're going to do some Warrior 3 position rows. So that Warrior 3 position, we're going to kick one leg back. We start with our right leg. So nice flat back here. We're going to take some dumbbells or kettlebells and just roll them into those armpits and back down. I want to go around 30 to 40 seconds aside. So rep count wise, I don't know, we're going to shoot anywhere between 12 to 20 reps. As far as weights, 5 to 20s, I don't know, whatever kind of floats your boat. If you want to keep track of your reps, you can. All right, so here we go. Two, one, begin. So right leg back, we're going to hold that position, roll into those armpits, right? Like I said, hold about 40 seconds aside. If you want to keep track of your reps, Chuck, feel free. 30 seconds. If you need to change up weights during this, that's okay. In 15 more seconds, then we're going to switch legs here. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's go ahead and switch up legs. Next 40.
and last 20 seconds. Last 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do some ground to overheads with sprawls. If the sprawl is too much, I'm going to do the ground overhead. So for you advanced people, you're doing the sprawl. If not, not a big deal. You're just gonna do that dumbbell ground overhead. So if you're doing the full gamut, you do that ground overhead, you're gonna set it down, you're gonna go ahead and sprawl, come back up, do it again. If that's too much, just give me the ground overhead, skip the sprawl, okay? Let's go 40 seconds aside. Here we go, in three, two, one, begin. Your weight should be between, I don't know, I'd say eight to 25 pounds, somewhere in there. Like I said, we're going 40 seconds aside. The sprawl's up to you, that's optional. It's like a buffet chop, we got options. Nice, keep going, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna switch arms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Other side, right into it. Next 40 seconds. Here we go. And last 10, here we go, in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, we're going to do some alternating chest presses for 90 seconds. So, I want you to grab 8 to 25s, yeah, I'd say somewhere in there, 8 to 25s. Oh, you can have your hips up or down, doesn't matter to me. Uh, like I said, we're going to alternate. So I'm going to start with both of those in the air. We're going to bring that right down. We're going to come on up. We're going to meet the left. And we're going right to the left here. Like I said, I'm going to go 90 seconds. If you want to bring your hips up, add a little up too, you can. I'm fine with that. 
going, keep going. Like I said, we're going a total of 90 here. Good, 45 more seconds. And last 10, there's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, put the weights to the side. I'm going to flip you over. Let's go back to that plank position. We're going to do 10 mountain climbers, 10 scissor jumps, or plank jumps. So we're in that plank position. I go 10 mountain climbers, and then we're going to go 10 plank jacks, okay? 10 scissors, 10 plank jacks. 10 mountain climbers, one minute. Here we go. In three, two, one, begin. 10 mountain climbers. And then 10 plank jacks. Do the best you can. If you need to finish a round, take a breather in between, that's okay. So maybe do 10 and 10. Come down to your knees for five, 10 seconds, then come back up, do it again. Let's go a good solid minute on this, and then I'll have you lie in your bellies. Nice, 10 knee tucks or 10 mountain climbers. 10 plank jacks, 15 more seconds, 14, 13, 12, 11, last 10, there's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, we're going to stay right here, stay in your bellies. We're going to do that scapular retraction. So, we want our bellies, we're going to come up nice and high. We're just going to bring those arms back with a squeeze and then go ahead and bring them all the way forward. So I'm going to keep those arms and legs off the ground the entire time. Bring those arms all the way forward. Little squeeze back here. I want you to engage those glutes. Like I said, the arms and legs are off the ground. It's a great posture move, right? I know Chuck likes this stuff. Good, 30 more seconds. And then we're going to take a breather here. Nice, like I said, stay up nice and tall. Squeeze those glutes. And last 20 seconds. Two more. And last 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, grab some water, take a breather, and then we're gonna go back through this one more time. All right, so we're heading back in those traveling lunge twists. You can use anything on this, all right? Kettlebell, dumbbell, med ball, a book, whatever you have. Uh, we're sticking to that two minute theme, right? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Two minutes of those traveling lunge twists. Uh, if you don't have the space, just go forward or, or backwards lunge and add that rotation, right? So going back through all 11 moves here. Working hard today, I'm proud of you guys for working out on a Sunday. What else do we have to do? <laughs> <coughs> you, you, could, you could talk to your spouse. <laughs> no. Or the dog. You go, go to your breakfast buffet for a few hours. I know Chuck, there's no sports on. Although I think it's, it's supposed to slowly come back in here. One more minute. As much as I liked watching that uh, documentary in the bowls. It's funny because I, I always think that everybody knows who Jordan is, but as we get older, Chuck, we have to remember that a lot of youngsters didn't go through that era to watch Jordan. Thirty seconds. But you were there. You were in Chicago live. Had season tickets. Man. Ten seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're back to those plank walkouts. Remember, I showed you two different ways to do this. So if you need to go to your knees, <coughs> so we're in that plank position. We're gonna walk it forward just a little bit, right? And then we're gonna walk it back. Okay, so start with you're ready. Like I said, <laughs> out, the upwards to the feet, right? Maybe get yourself a marker, kind of what you're going after each time. At the end of our minutes, we'll go back to those jumping jack squats. Like I said, if you haven't done any stabilize, stabilizer, I had to use it on that one. Nice, hang in there. Let's keep going here. Another 25 seconds. And 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. All right, we're back up. Like I said, if you have that band to put around your knees, do so. We're going back to those jumping jack squats. All right, here we go in three, two, one, begin.
30 seconds down, 30 to go. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's go back to that single leg plank. Remember 30 seconds aside. Down on your elbows with those straight arms. Here we go. Right leg slightly up. 2, 1. Begin. Let's hold it. Keep holding. Ten more seconds. And we'll switch legs. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Good. Switch legs. Begin. And last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, let's go back to those warrior three rows. Like I said, your weight, like I said, anywhere between that, maybe 5 to 20 pounds. Okay, but come on up. Let's kick that right leg back. We're going to go 40 seconds aside. Here we go, 2, 1, begin. Nice control here. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. We always love balance work, right, Chuck? Love it. Every day. <laughs> Every day. Every day. Keep going. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good switch legs. I kick the other leg back. Here we go. Two, one. Begin one more time, right? Back of those rows. Elbows stay tucked in. Don't break your wrists as you're pulling in, right? We don't want to break those wrists. We're just pulling straight in. Squeeze those whole blades together. Good, 20 more seconds. And we're back to those ground overheads. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're back to those ground overheads with a sprawl between if you can, if not, that's okay. And just do the ground overhead, okay? We're going to go 40 seconds aside. Here we go. Two, one, begin. Ready? Up overhead. If you want to, and that sprawl in there. Back up. Woo! Nice. Keep going. Fifteen seconds. Thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Go ahead and begin. Right into it. Right. Another forty here. And 
last 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're to our mat, into those low post crunches, hands down or up, either way it's one of me, if you really want to make it advance, you can put your hands overhead or have like a net ball overhead if you really wanted to, right? So, little crunches, here we go, two, one, we're going to just pulse in here, just little ones, doesn't have to be a full extension, like I said, you can put your hands down, that's okay, do that. Squeeze those abs towards that belly button. All right, so this one's a short one. We're gonna go 15 more seconds, and you're gonna lay back on those bicep crunches. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lay back, hands behind the head, into those bicep crunches. Go ahead and begin, 45 seconds. And last 20 seconds. In eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're back to those dumbbell alternating chest presses. If you want to go into that plank, that pelvic bridge. You can do that, right? So grab some weight between those eights and 25s. Here we go. Two, one, begin. We're going to alternate left to right here. Let's keep this going. Like I said, big 90 seconds. We got two more moves after this. I'm going to let you guys stretch. In five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, good. So let's go ahead. We're gonna flip you over. We got those ten knee tops, or ten mountain climbers, into ten plank jacks. Right. One minute on this one. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Begin. So ten mountain climbers. Right. Ten knee tops. Then we're going to do 10 plank jacks, wide to the middle.
Nice. Keep going. Keep going. And last 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on your belly. We're going to go into that scap of the retraction. We're going to finish out with that. If you had some small weights, threes or fives, you can use it on this. Wanted to make a little more advance. All right, last one. Here we go. Two. One. We get arms and legs up. We're going to pull that back with we'll squeeze all the way forward. Just so stay nice and high. Squeeze those glutes. Work in that low back. So we'll go about a minute here, maybe a little over. Good, last 30 seconds. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, all done. I want you guys to give me a little stretch here for the last five, 10 minutes.